Probably one of the most common questions I get in my office is, do I need to have my wisdom teeth pulled? Or more commonly, I'll have an adult patient come in and I will notice the wisdom teeth and suggest doing something and have them tell me that they were informed by the previous dentist that they didn't need them to be pulled because there was plenty of space. And what I found is there's uh, quite a bit of misconception out there regarding wisdom teeth and longevity. First thing to understand is wisdom teeth commonly become a problem in the late 40s, 50s, and beyond, and not at a uh, younger person. Uh, it was less of an issue because the argument ends up being, you know, well, gosh, 100 years ago, no one had their wisdom teeth pulled. Well, 100 years ago, people died at age 48 on average. So, well, maybe 120, 150 years ago. But the bottom line is the mortality rate was totally different. And so our reaction to things is different. And the reason I bring that up is nowadays people, because they are living longer, have other issues that they're trying to contend with. We heal a lot better at age 20 than we do at age 60. And so if we're waiting for the wisdom teeth to become a problem, and they will become a problem, no matter how much room you think you've got, your ability, people don't brush and floss their front teeth, let alone the teeth way that far back. And so no matter how diligent a person is, it's very, very common to have pockets around the wisdom teeth that collect plaque and bacteria and have issues that cause bone loss. Well, the bone loss around the wisdom teeth will also affect the teeth immediately in front of them. And so it's very common if we wait till age 60 to have the wisdom teeth out, the teeth right in front of them have to come out as well. So you're not trying to preserve the four wisdom teeth. You're trying to per, you know, keep the other teeth that otherwise are, are useful. So I, and I've even heard it from many general dentists. And usually the people that are recommending that they stay are the dentists that don't know how to take them out and are recommending to leave it alone. And there are dentists out there that their main goal in life is to simply not do anything. Less is more. They're there as firemen dentists. They'll put out the fires when the fires arise, but they won't be proactive and take care of things when they are much easier, more comfortable, or predictable. Same with when a tooth has a large crack in it. Sometimes they want to wait till it breaks and it hurts. And others of us want to take care of it when it's convenient. So we don't want to get a phone call on a weekend to come and save the day. So as far as the wisdom teeth go, I always recommend that when it's appropriate, take them out. I don't think a 12-year-old is a good time to take it out. Most of the time, we want two-thirds of the root developed on a wisdom tooth before it's taken out. So if you are 18 years old and we've got full root form or fully developed uh, wisdom teeth, that's a good time to consider taking them out. I do recommend an oral surgeon take them out most of the time. I just think it's a little bit more comfortable for patients. Uh, they do them a little bit more routinely than I do, but if you present to me a wisdom tooth that has the shape of the roots in such a way that I'm pretty sure that I can get it out comfortably and uneventfully for you and with no risk to associated tooth structure and bone and nerves and things like that, then I can go ahead and take them out. But for the most part, uh, an oral surgeon is a great way to go. Most of them are going to put you to sleep, so you don't have to even remember the, the visit at all. It's just a good way to go. But generally speaking, you're going to get them out at some point. You break a hip at age 20, it's an inconvenience. You break a hip at age 60, it might kill you. So take care of the wisdom teeth before it becomes a bigger problem. Dr. Timmerman is known internationally with licenses in multiple states in the United States plus Belgium and Dubai for cosmetic, implant, and sleep dentistry with fellowships in the International Congress for Oral Implantology and the Academy of General Dentistry and a diplomate in the American Board of Dental Sleep Medicine. If you would like to become a patient of Dr. Timmerman or simply have questions, please go to our website, www.drtimmerman.com. That is www.drtimmerman.com. Or call us at 206-241-5533. Or you could email questions for an episode of a future podcast at thewholetoothpodcast at gmail.com.